Since the 1950s, traffic congestion has substantially increased in urban areas due to population growth. The average American commuter wastes two days and six hours a year in traffic delays. This has made the dream of small flying cars or taxis and their business opportunities to be hot stuff in recent years. We have talked about a number of flying cars and taxi projects on this channel, and in this video, we are going to talk about the new ones which were unveiled recently. Meet the Lyft Hexa. Hexa is an all-electric single-passenger air taxi aimed primarily at tourism and short-distance air travel. This ultralight aircraft is fitted with four perimeter floats that provide stability and a large central float which provides buoyancy for safe water landings. With a total empty weight of 432 pounds, Hexa can carry a 250 pound passenger for up to 15 minutes of flight time. For safety measures, Hexa is equipped with an autonomous ballistic parachute and it can also fly and land safely, even if up to six of its 18 motors are disabled. Lyft Aircraft is one of the 15 companies which are members of Agility Prime, the United States Air Force initiative to accelerate the commercial market for advanced air mobility vehicles. Introducing Bell Nexus 4EX, a 7,000 pound air taxi that can hit speeds of up to 150 miles per hour and can travel up to 60 miles while carrying four to five passengers, plus a pilot. The Nexus is equipped with four tilting ducted rotors and it can operate as an electric only or a hybrid electric vehicle. With a hybrid platform, the Nexus 4EX can extend its range and travel farther. The 4EX is the company's second version of the Nexus. The original version used six rotors instead of four. According to Bell, the four rotor design reduces drag and is, therefore, more efficient in cruise mode. This is Boeing Passenger Air Vehicle, or PAV. It is a new generation electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL passenger aircraft or air taxi designed and developed by Boeing for safe, on-demand urban air transportation. Designed for fully autonomous flight from takeoff to landing, the PAV is able to autonomously transport passengers, plan routes, respond to contingencies, and detect and avoid unexpected obstacles. Not much is provided about speed and payload weight, but the company says it's designed for urban commutes with typical ranges up to 50 miles. Meet Seraph. This 12-rotor British electric flying taxi can carry passengers and goods weighing up to 550 pounds at speeds up to 50 miles per hour. It features a unique passive cooling system and modular design so that it can be made larger or smaller, fitted with wheels or floats to facilitate water landings. The Seraph was built by the company to test new technologies and systems, which will be used in the upcoming passenger model, the VA-X1. The VA-X1 will be capable of carrying up to five people. It is set to be the world's first certified winged all-electric VTOL aircraft and is on course to start commercial flights in 2024.
Meet Elroy. Manufactured by Astro, this flying car is slightly larger than a compact car, but it is unexpectedly quiet and can fit into most garage spaces. With its high-performance electric motors, this electric-powered vertical takeoff and landing vehicle can carry two passengers and travel at speeds up to 44 miles per hour, with a flight time of 20 to 25 minutes. Elroy was specifically designed with wide cabin glass for optimal comfort and a 360-degree surround view for a unique travel experience. Introducing the City Airbus. This is a fully electric 4,850-pound air taxi manufactured by Airbus. The City Airbus is an autonomously piloted EVTOL and has a cruising speed of roughly 75 miles per hour, up to 15 minutes of flight time. Powered by four 140 kilowatt batteries, its four sets of counter-rotating ducted propellers can each provide 881 pounds of thrust for a payload of up to 551 pounds. The City Airbus is the successor of Vahana, the company's first air taxi model. Like its predecessor, City Airbus is also being used to gather insights that will guide the development of Airbus's future EVTOL models. Introducing Heaviside, a high-performance electric VTOL vehicle by Kitty Hawk. After the successful 25,000 flights of its first flying car project, the Flyer, the company has decided to focus more on the heavy side, a vehicle which they hope it can be turned into a viable business venture. Kitty Hawk claims the craft's electric propulsion system, tiny proportions, and aerodynamic shape make it roughly 100 times quieter than a regular helicopter and it can cover a 55-mile distance in 15 minutes while using less than half the energy of a car. Introducing SkyDrive SD03, a Toyota-backed flying car that is billed as the smallest electric VTOL. Equipped with eight rotors that help it fly safely even if there's a motor failure, this one-seat SkyDrive model can fly for only five to 10 minutes at a low speed of several miles per hour. The next version is expected to have a speed of up to 40 miles per hour and an extended flight duration of 30 minutes. With a length of 13 feet and 6.6 .6 feet of height, the SD03 is just small enough to fit into two average parking spaces and ideal for urban use. The company is currently waiting for approval for flights beyond the test field by the end of 2020, and it expects a two-seat commercial vehicle by 2023. What do you think of these projects? Do you think we will have flying taxis for the general public anytime soon? Please let us know in the comments section below.
If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and share it with your friends. Over the past few years, some people have taken drones from small, almost toy devices for carrying cameras and the like to mini aircraft that are capable of carrying a single person or more and now these supersized drones are touted as a possible future for personal transportation for both civilians and military personnel. These are still very early days. Years of testing will lie ahead before these are allowed to fly in public areas so don't expect to see anything like this soon but here we look at five of the drones you can ride in. The Ehang 184 created a huge buzz when it was debuted at the CES 2016 show. They claim it's the world's first fully autonomous helicopter drone. The Ehang 184 is a 200 kilogram eight rotor aircraft, which the company claims is able to lift a single 100 kilogram person up to 500 meters into the air and fly them at up to 100 kilometers an hour to any point on Google Maps, all whilst avoiding objects automatically and safely handling the takeoff and landing without the need of any piloting skills from the person being carried. The range is as far as it can fly with 23 minutes of flight time afforded by the batteries, which have a re charge time of around two hours. Ehang is keen to point out that in the event of a drone experiencing problems, human pilots housed in custom-built command centers will be able to take over and guide you to safety. Hopefully there will also be a parachute should you have a complete power loss at 500 meters up. Price should be around about $180,000 to $260,000 each. In the Netherlands, Torsten Cranes, the man behind Quadro UAS, has been developing an autonomous aircraft and has been featured on the news and TV programs around Europe. Quadro UAS is primarily a one-man operation and Torsten started out as a software engineer and gained experience whilst working at a company making unmanned aerial systems. However, he soon realized that he needed more experience in other technical areas like mechanical stress calculations and circuit design. He has spent a lot of time gaining these new skills and also cooperating with other people in order to make his prototype aircraft. Torsten's design has 20 electrically powered motors, each driving one propeller and it is stabilized by a multi-wee autopilot control system. Torsten is also in talks with the Dutch Aviation Authority in order to get a flight certificate and hopes that in the future you will be able to order your personal aircraft by smartphone and it will land wherever you are before taking you on to your destination. The Aero X from Los Angeles firm Aerofex Incorporated is a two-man low-altitude flying vehicle that's sort of a drone but it isn't a drone and it's also a sort of flying all-terrain vehicle. One of the major differences between the Aero X and other electrically powered type drone craft is that it's much simpler and uses no electronic stabilization control systems. It is designed to be ridden much like a motorbike, but also can be used as an unmanned vehicle to do agricultural duties like crop spraying and surveying, for example. It uses two inline ducted fans powered by petrol engines. The design of the ducts around the edges of the fans give it the stability and the control Control. The idea behind the Aero X is not a new one though, and it's actually based on a design from over 50 years ago. The PA-59K Flying Jeep or Air Jeep was created by Frank N. Pasecki, founder of Pasecki Helicopter and Aircraft Corporation. The Air Jeep was the winner of a US Army competition to make a low-flying vehicle capable of traveling over land or water, a bit like a hovercraft, but whilst being able to fly over trees and larger obstacles. It also had a top speed of up to 75 miles an hour. Although the Air Jeep was field tested, the Army chose to stick with the helicopters and the idea was dropped until Aerofex took it up again. Because the craft is designed to travel at only around about 10 feet above the ground and is controlled like a bike, the rider does not require any private pilot's license. Shipping is scheduled to start in 2017 with a price tag of $85,000 each. The Flyk or flying bike is an electrically powered tricopter designed by the Hungarian Bay Zoltan Limited. The idea of a flight was originally conceived in the summer of 2014 when a magazine article appeared that said that drones were okay as small craft but would not be able to carry the weight of a person. This gave the design team the idea to make a drone that could carry a person and in the space of a year they took the idea from the drawing board to their first manned flight. The six motor design is in a Y form with the rotors on top of each other in a similar design to the Ehung 184. 
Bay Zoltan are claiming that the flight will be able to travel at an electronically limited height of 30 meters at up to 100 kilometers per hour. Carrying capacity of the flight is up to 100 kilograms and the flight time is up to 60 minutes with the extended range version. Because the flight is fully stabilized and controlled by computer, the rider will require few piloting skills, though you may still require a pilot's license like you do for a small plane or microlight. The flight control will be by joystick and because it's fully computer controlled, it will also be capable of unmanned autonomous flight. Availability is said to be sometime in 2016 and the price is yet to be announced, but they said it will be in the sports car bracket. Hopefully that's the Mazda MX-5 price bracket and not that of a Ferrari 458. The German-made Volocopter blurs the lines between a drone and a helicopter and is aimed at those who want the flying experience of the helicopter but without the high costs and long training times involved. The layout of the Volocopter is similar to the helicopter with the rotors in a fixed grid above the main cabin and a similar size to the swept area of a normal helicopter rotor. The difference between the helicopter and a volocopter is that the volocopter has 18 electrically powered rotors and this means that there is much more built-in redundancy so you could lose a couple of rotors for example and still be able to fly. Being electric it's also emissions free and it also requires much less maintenance than a traditional helicopter. Rather than being fully autonomous like the Yihang, Volocopter wanted to give the pilot the fun of flying but with all the advantages that a fully computerized system could give. This would allow them to fly with just the joystick, just like a computer game, but also be able to switch to fully automatic if required. The computers take care of the actual flying, the takeoff and landing and can even compensate for turbulence. All the pilot needs to do is just point it where he needs to actually go. Plan is to have a single seater fun model and then a two and four seater models for commercial and private transport. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then don't forget to please thumbs up and subscribe for more. And if you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see, then please let us know in the comments below.